Hello, young artists. So here is the second part of your self-portrait. We already did the part where um, you draw the, the self-portrait and then you outlined it. So now it's time to add color to your self-portrait Frida Kahlo style. So you'll need colored pencils and these are the colors of the world. They have all different kinds of skin colors. And you need also other like regular colored pencils. Okay, so um, I'm going to first try to find what's the best color that will match my skin color. If you need to go behind to check the color, see this is too light. This is better. This is good for the darker, darker parts for shading. I'm gonna use these three for um, my regular color and some for shading, shading and darker shading. Okay, so when you start coloring, you have to try to do it as even as possible And try to always do it in one same direction, like circular. I'm doing it like a oval. As you can see, I'm not holding it like this because if I do this, it's going to be very tiring. I am holding the pencil like this, getting as much of the pencil as possible. So it, will cover more, it gets in thicker, and more even. And try to get all the white spaces. So another reason I take it like this is because um, also it allows you a bigger movement. If you go like this, the movement is very small. Well, if you take it away, you have a bigger movement and you won't take so long. So now I did my, my first base and now I want to look at those places where I want some shade. I'm going to press harder Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and go to a darker shade because my my hair here creates a shade that because it's on top of my of my skin of my forehead. I'm going to make the shade blend into the color also. I'm also creating a little bit of value from dark to light, only because my face is three-dimensional. From dark to light. Also under the neck, there's a lot of shade because my shin comes up a lot. So there's a lot of shade here. And the sides of my neck. And the nose right here, there's, there's a, the nose goes up some, so I'm going to shade it here. Instead of making a line all the way down here, I am just going to shade it. I 
I shaded it here too much, so I'm going to see if I can erase that a little bit. That's why it's so important not to press too hard because then you can erase some of it. Got my eyebrows. Okay, so I can take my darker one to shade closer to the hair. In this corner over here. Okay, so now I got my, my shading over here, uh, my skin, my, my hair is covering my ears. So this is part of my hair. Okay, now I'm going to color my eyes. I have, I am going to put these back where they belong. I have brown eyes. So I have this brown, I uh, have a little bit of yellow, like a yellow brown mustard. I have little specks of green, very little. I might use the black also. Okay, actually I start with the black. I want to get closer here. As you can see, this part here, that's the part. This is the part that's going to shine. So I put nothing there. This is my pupil. Whatever I do to this eye, I'm going to do it also to this eye. So I can make them even. I'm going to take my dark brown. My eyelid makes a shadow, like a shade over. Let me secure this first. I'm trying to make those little white dots the same. Okay. So my eye, eyelids make shadow over my eye, my iris. So that is why it's usually darker on top. And I keep this kind of roundish, so it looks like a circle all the time. As I go down, I make it lighter. And I, I follow the circle. So I already put the brown, but I know that my eyes have a little bit like a yellowish tone to it. I'm going to go ahead and add that in the lighter part. And I know that when I look at my eyes really close, I have a little bit of this green making it olive a little bit. So I'm gonna add that too, very little. Now I'm gonna put more darkness in here on the top. Eyelashes. I have very little eyelashes. I'm just gonna. My eyelashes are very short. I'm done with the eyes. I'm gonna change papers because this is not the real paper. I had to do it again because I had already done this before, so I'm going to go ahead and continue with this. For the hair, hair can be tricky. A lot of people just want to make every strand of hair, and you cannot be thinking about that. You have to think about the hair as masses of hair, like they're, they're, to, they're together, like a bunch of them together. So that's what I'm going to do here. My hair is a very dark brown, so I'm going, going to be using... Um, mostly this dark brown and I'm going to be using black. 
my hair is not completely black. So I'm going to color my hair. And oh, and also here, there's some parts that shine. So I'm going to uh, press less hard on the parts that shine and darker on the other parts. My pencil is going to, it's going to move in the same direction as my hair. So this part here, because it's, it go, it's going up, I'm going to color it very light. I'm going to use a lot of value here in and out from dark to light. See, from dark to light. And that creates some shine. I'm doing the same. And you're just gonna observe how I'm going to repeat this in different places. And But I'm going to fast forward because if not, this takes a really long time. I'm going to take a break from the hair and I'm going to color my glasses. My glasses are kind of like, um, they're kind of burgundy color. And burgundy is like a, like a dark red. As you can see, my glasses are not perfect. They're like different uh, um, thicknesses. That's okay. Oops. And you know what? My glasses are darker than this, but this color that I'm making it is fun and I will leave it like that because I like it. I'm gonna put my colors back on here safely. So you might be thinking, wait, I don't have curly hair. How am I gonna make my straight hair? So I'm going to give you a short demonstration on how to color the straight hair. Straight hair. So it has straight, so I just do a few strands. That is it. Just a few strands of the hair. Let's make believe it's blonde hair. Blonde-ish. Since I already did brown for my hair, I'm gonna make a blondish hair. The same thing, I just treat it like different areas. I color it in. This is easier. I just color it in one same color. I'm going to outline with brown. I forgot to outline it, outline it first. Then I have this lighter brown. And I make, I put value from dark to light at each strand. At each mass of hair. 
do a few strands. That's it. Oh, I forgot to outline it. This was supposed to be done already, but because I'm doing something very quickly for you. You can put a few here. If your hair is brown, then you do the same colors that I used. Like this one for this for this one. But this straighter hair is easier. I'm using the side of my pencil. So I have my base and then I take this one just to create a little bit of value. From dark to light, from dark to light. Just a little bit from dark to light. Here, behind the neck, there's going to be more darkness because of the, the, the head is making that. Then it's lighter. there that's it straight hair is even easier than curly hair